All right, so Xrail just teamed up with Google and dropped something kind of wild at Google I.O. 2025. It's called Project Aura, and it's only the second official device to run on Google's new Android XR platform. The first was Samsung's Project Muhan, which is basically trying to be the Vision Pro, but for Android fans. Aura, though, they're XR glasses. The Project Aura glasses look a lot like the Xreal Air 2 Ultra, with dual 3D environmental sensors at the upper corners of the front frame, but Aura adds what looks like a camera above the nose bridge, kind of like the Rainio X2 AR glasses which you can use with Google Gemini AI or to snap photos and videos. Now yeah, they're tethered, so you'll need to hook them up to your phone or laptop, but honestly, that's a pretty clever move. It means the glasses stay nice and lightweight instead of feeling like you've got a whole computer hanging off your face. And let's be real, Xreal's no rookie here. They've done this with their previous glasses too, so they know exactly what they're doing. As for the brains behind it, Qualcomm's Snapdragon XR chipset is running the show, most likely the XR2 Plus Gen 2. It's built into the glasses to handle the core AR XR functions while offloading heavier tasks to a connected phone or laptop. Now here's a shift, Xreal's current XR lineup primarily runs on Nebula, but for Project Aura, they've gone with Google's Android XR platform instead. That means deeper integration with Google's ecosystem and of course, Gemini AI. And Gemini AI, it can talk to you, help you out, maybe even finish your sentences someday. It's like Google Assistant, but smarter and way closer to your eyeballs. The screen, big old field of view, think movie theater vibes, floating screens, AR overlays, virtual workspaces, all that good stuff. They're also teasing both optical and virtual see-through modes, which means you'll be able to use these for everything from AR enhanced navigation to binge watching Netflix on a floating screen while pretending to be productive. Google, Qualcomm, and Xreal are clearly thinking long term here. They're already calling on devs to start building for it. And since it shares DNA with other Android XR devices, building apps across platforms should be a lot easier. Expect cool stuff like AR shopping, real-time translation, interactive learning, and probably some ridiculous AR games. And timing-wise, no official release date yet, but more details are coming at AWE in June, so fingers crossed we don't have to wait forever. Bottom line, Project Aura isn't trying to be a full-on VR headset, it's aiming to be something you'd actually wear, which makes it way more exciting, and if they stick the landing, this might just be the XR moment we've all been waiting for. That's a wrap for now, hope you had fun with this one. Don't forget to stick around for more, and I'll catch you in the next video.